Hey guys, it's me Ilva Crafts and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be awesome because I'm doing my March 2021 planner setup. If you haven't seen the other months of 2021, they will all be linked down below. Before we get started, I have some very exciting news. I just opened a new YouTube channel, it's called Ilva Craft Shorts and go ahead and subscribe there and also turn on the post notifications so you will be notified for the videos that are coming pretty pretty soon. This channel will be linked on my main channel at Ilva Crafts but also at my Instagram at my bio. If you're ready, let's get started. So for March I decided to go for a very beautiful theme that I honestly love since it's the beginning of spring. I wanted to use some colors that represent spring the best. I went for pink, purple and red and also for cats. You guys know that I love cats so so much and I thought that these cats are going to be the perfect theme for this month. Through this video you're gonna learn a lot about some of my favorite breeds of cats so stay tuned and let's get started let's kick off with the first cat which is the scottish fold cat these cats are very tiny and cute and fluffy and they come in basically this beautiful dark gray color combined with white and i think that they are so so adorable next we have the norwegian forest cat i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing these breeds correctly so this cat is a very big and fluffy and some of them actually live in snow forests and my favorite color of this cat is probably orange because come on they're so fluffy and cute and this color is my favorite next we have the mani kong cat these cats are big and gray some of them are kind of like that black to dark gray color and they're half wild half pets you know you can pet them but most of them live in the wild next we have the red gold cat these cats are honestly the cutest they have a beautiful white fur combined with some brown at her face tail and legs this next one is the Siamese cat. These cats are so so adorable. They come in this beautiful brown color and beautiful ocean blue eyes. Cute, right? Okay, this next one is probably my favorite cat. It's the Munchkin cat. These cats are adorable, like adorable. They have those beautiful tiny legs and they are so beautiful. I just love them. If if I ever pick a cat, this would be the one that I would pick. They are fluffy and they come in different colors, but my favorite one is the white, orange and black. Next we have the snowshoe cat. These cats are adorable because they come in very beautiful colors combined with gray, black and white. And they are called snowshoe because their paws are white, like covered in snow. Cute, right? Next we have the monks. And these cats are basically like all the other cats, but their tails are shorter. They are actually pretty, pretty cute. And I honestly went for my favorite colors, which is white, orange and black. This next one is the Turkish Angora cat. This cat is big and white and so, so fluffy. And what I found cute at them is that they have beautiful eyes in different colors like green or blue but sometimes their eyes are combinated like one eye is green and the other one is blue that's just amazing this next cat is called the Bombay cat and they're just black cats with beautiful yellow eyes like that's the perfect combination black and yellow it, they're just so beautiful this last cat is actually very very cute they are thin and they come in different colors i went for the gray cat with white and what i found cute is their big ears like their head is so small and their ears are so so big that's adorable now that i'm done with the cats i'm gonna move on to the title of this page i went for this very interesting kind of title which is made out of thread you guys know that cats love playing with thread, so I decided to make the title inspired by the thread. I also wanted to add some 
decorations on the empty spaces so I went for some purple paws and red hearts. On top of the page I'm doing the calendar, just a simple calendar right there. I'm done with this page and I'm gonna clean it up and start coloring. I used all the colors that I told you guys before and I think that at the end it turned in the way that I liked. And I think that it's so so cute. On the next page right here, I, as I told you, I wanted to do a quote. So I picked this one that says, cats are a mysterious kind of folk. And I think that this is such a beautiful quote because I think every single animal is unique on its own. I use the same type of thread title for the folk. And for the other letters, I just went with some simple ones using all the colors that I told you. And I also went for like the decorations with paws and hearts. Alright guys, this page is done and it's honestly my favorite one so, so far. It looks so beautiful, colorful and cute just because there are cats there. I just love this one. Now let's move on with the next page which is the calendar of March. Let's start off with the title. I went for that thread type of title for this one too, but I wrote March Catlander. Yes, Catlander. <laughs> Cute, right? And I also couldn't forget about those decorations with paws and hearts. Under that, I'm going to do a big calendar. For the other months, I went for like these small calendars and like to do the list of all the days, but there was kind of not a lot of space, so I thought this one would be much more space and that's why I went for this method. After doing all the boxes, I wrote all the numbers and the days and for and on top of all the numbers, I drew a little paw and I think that this detail pops more the numbers and it looks adorable. And of course, I couldn't forget about another cat in this cat litter, so I went for the Persian cat. These cats are so so cute, they come in a very beautiful orange color. They are one of my favorites, they are actually adorable and I would love to have one of them. Then I also wanted to do another inspirational quote, so I went for these kind of bowls with food for the cats, I'm not sure how you call them, and I wrote on each bowl, you kitty it today. Which means you are playful to get today or you are happy today, like cats are. And then I couldn't forget about the goals and songs tracker. I decided to use a different color of paper. So I took a piece of pink paper and I wrote goals and songs and just like rubbed it a little bit because cats like to scratch papers. So that's why I went for that cute detail. And it's basically done. I think that it turned out amazing because I have a lot of space for each day. I also have a cute cat on the side and the trackers and everything that I love. So this cat calendar will work out perfectly. Let's move on with the next page. For this page we have the to-do tracker and the mood tracker. I'm going for the same type of trackers that I used for the other mouse because they're be working perfectly for me. I started off by writing the titles of this page with that type of thread title. I wrote to the tracker and mood tracker. And on the sides I decided to go for five categories. You guys should definitely pick anything that you want. Maybe you want to do more than five, but these are like the mains for me. And I did one on the first page and the other four in the other page. And of course, I couldn't forget about this page for some other cute cats. 
so I picked three other ones starting off with this spying cat I guess you call it this spying cat and these cats are very tiny and thin and so so adorable so I decided to put them next to the to do tracker under the to do tracker I did this cat which is so so cute it's one of my favorites and this one is called the Turkish van cat and the thing that they're very adorable is that they are white and on their ears and their tail they're orange that's so so cute and I also wrote next to her you can cat this which means you can do this <laughs> okay let's move on with the mood tracker which is under the to do tracker I went for the same type of like graphic type of mood tracker because it's been working for me very very good and after writing all the days on the sides i didn't go for like the emoji smiley faces but like for cat faces which is adorable next to the title i decided to go for another breed of cat and this one is actually very very cute because i have seen a lot of these cats and i think that they are adorable and this page was so so quick and it's actually done i think that it will work out perfectly for me as the other months and you guys should definitely try these methods because they are very easy to do but actually very practical to fill up next we have two of my favorite trackers which is the youtube video ideas tracker and the instacat post ideas tracker i just went for like a simple kind of titles and i'm just gonna list my ideas i don't want to go for a very fancy type of thing because these pages always get very very messy so in the first tracker i went for this type of thread look because i just love it so so much and for the other one i just went for like a more simple one and i colored it in purple these trackers were just some titles that I like to do, nothing special about them. So let's move on with the other page, which is the first weekly spread of this month and actually the last page for the video. Starting off with the title, I wrote weekly spread 1 to 7, which is in the same type of lettering that I have done with, to all the spreads. For this page, I decided to go for two of the cats that I used on the first page, which is the Munchkin cat and the Siamis cat. And I drew like a brown uh, shelf and they're sitting on top of it. And also some of those decorations with paws and hearts. Under them, I did a ghost and a songs tracker. On top of the cats, there are all the days of the week. And the Saturday and Sunday are actually just like a string, but I lacked more space for each of them. So they kind of fit there perfectly. I just went for some pink and purple highlights and this page is actually done. It was actually very, very simple to do. And this one is probably one of my favorite spreads of all the year. It turned out so, so cute. And it has my favorite stuff on it cats which is adorable and i would love to fill up all the pages all right guys i hope you like this video and i hope that i inspired you to create your march 2021 planner setup i just love doing these videos and i hope that you guys do too this is another reminder for my new channel which is ilva crafts shorts it will be linked down below you can also go ahead and check it on my on my main channel or at my instagram at ilva.crafts at my bio don't forget to let me know in the comments down below which one of these cats was your favorite. This is the end of today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell for more future videos. If you have anything else to say, just bye and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, craft!